Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 20 minus x over 8 minus x is equal to 14 minus x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this 8 minus x in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 8. And if we multiply both sides by 8 minus x, this implies that square root of 20 minus x is equal to 40 minus x times 8 minus x. This left hand side remains same and we expand this expression 14 times it will become 112 and 14 times negative x is negative 14 x negative x times 8 is negative 8 x negative x times negative x plus x squared we rearrange these terms we write this x squared first this is equal to x squared and negative 14 x minus 8 x will become negative 22 times x plus this 112. We make this expression a perfect square. We write this uh, x squared minus uh, this uh, 22 x can be written as uh, 2 times x times 11. It means uh, to make this a perfect square we add here 11 squared and 11 squared is equal to 121. And in the original expression, we have 112. So, to make this 121 equal to this 112, we subtract 9 from here. And at left hand side, we have this expression square root of 20 minus x. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This expression x squared minus 2 times x times 11 plus 11 squared will become x minus 11 whole squared minus this 9 is equal to since we have uh, x minus 11 here, so we write this expression as uh, square root of this 20 can be written as uh, 9 plus 11 minus x. Next, square root of this expression can be written as uh, 9 minus x minus 11 is equal to x minus 11 whole squared minus 9. Now, we suppose that this x minus 11 is equal to t. That x minus 11 is equal to t. So, this equation will become square root of 9 minus t is equal to t squared minus 9. We define the domain of this equation. Since this 9 minus t is under square root, so this 9 minus t must be greater than or equal to 0. It means that t must be less than or equal to 9. And since this left hand side is greater than 0, this t squared minus 9 must be t squared minus 9 must be greater than or equal to 0. It means that uh, t squared must be greater than or equal to 9. And this implies that uh, t must be greater than or equal to 3 and t must be less than or equal to negative 3. So, we have two conditions as a domain of this equation. The first one is uh, t must be less than or equal to 9 and the second one is uh, 
t must be greater than or equal to 3 and t must be less than or equal to negative 3. Now we square both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled out with the square root and at left hand side we are left with the 9 minus t is equal to t squared minus 9 whole squared. We subtract t squared from both sides so this will become 9 minus t we subtract t squared from the left hand side is equal to t squared minus 9 whole squared we subtract t squared from the right hand side now we rearrange these terms so we write this negative t squared first negative t squared minus this t plus 9 is equal to by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a minus b. This uh, t squared minus 9 whole squared minus uh, t squared will become t squared minus 9 plus uh, t times uh, t squared minus 9 minus t. Now we take a negative sign outside the bracket this will become negative times uh, t squared plus uh, t minus 9 is equal to we rearrange these terms uh, t squared plus t minus 9 times uh, we rearrange these terms uh, t squared minus t minus 9. Now we move uh, this expression to the right hand side. So this will become t squared plus uh, t minus 9 times uh, t squared minus t minus 9. This uh, negative expression will become positive t squared plus t minus 9 is equal to 0. Now this t squared plus t minus 9 is a common factor. So we factor out this t squared plus t minus 9. And in bracket left this expression t squared minus t minus 9 plus 1 from here is equal to 0. Next t squared plus uh, t minus 9 times uh, t squared minus t this negative 9 plus 1 will become negative a is equal to 0. From here either this expression t squared plus uh, t minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared minus t minus 8 is equal to 0. Now from this quadratic equation according to quadratic formula t is equal to negative 1 plus minus the square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 9 divided by 2 times a is 1. X t is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 9 is 36. 1 plus 36 will become 37 divided by 2 times 1 2. And from this quadratic equation t is equal to negative times uh, negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times uh, a is 1 times uh, c is negative a divided by 2 times a is 1 next uh, t is equal to negative times negative 1 will become 1 
plus minus square root of this uh, negative 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 8 plus 32. 1 plus 32 will become 33 divided by 2 times 1 will become 2. So, from this equation we get uh, 2 values of t is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 37 over 2 and second value is a negative 1 minus root 37 over 2 and from this equation we get 1 plus uh, root 33 over 2 and uh, 1 minus root 33 divided by 2. Now, by using the domain we remove uh, invalid solutions. We have two conditions as a domain t must be less than or equal to 9 and t must be greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to negative 3. The first condition is uh, t must be less than or equal to 9 and the second is uh, t must be greater than or equal to 3 or t must be less than or equal to negative 3. This negative 1 plus root 37 over 2 is uh, approximately equal to 2.54. This is less than 3. So, this will be rejected. And this uh, negative 1 minus root 37 over 2 is uh, approximately equal to negative 3.54 this is less than 9 and less than negative 3. So, this is a valid solution. This 1 plus root 33 over 2 is approximately equal to 3.4 which is less than 9 and greater than 3. So, this also a valid solution. This is approximately equal to negative 2.4 which is greater than negative 3. So, this also will be rejected. Now, to find the values of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x minus 11 is equal to t. we have supposed that uh, x minus 11 is equal to t. So, when t is equal to this value then we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 minus root 37 over 2 plus 11. When t is equal to this value then we get the value of x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 33 over 2 plus 11. Now, we can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM. LCM is 2. So, this negative 1 minus root 37 will come here negative 1 minus root 37 plus 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times 11, 22. So, x will be equal to 22 minus 1 is 21 minus root 37 over 2. And from this equation, we can write the denominator 1. We take LCM of 2 and 1, that is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, this 1 plus root 33 will come here. Plus 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 11 is 22 and uh, 22 plus 1 will become 23 plus uh, root 33 divided by 2. This is the second value of x and this is the first. So, we get uh, two valid solutions for this equation.